I'm one of the medical students who's been asked to perform an upper limb musculoskeletal examination on you, if that's okay. Yeah. So that just involved me having a look, having a feel, getting you to move around and also me performing a few special tests on your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists and your hands. In order to do this properly, it will require you to take off your shirt just so I can have a proper inspection and we can do some proper tests on your upper limbs. Does that sound okay with you? Yeah. Did you have any questions at all? No. Fantastic. Um, if you're happy to get started, I'll just get a few of your details. Sure. So what was your full name? John Smith. Yeah, and what was your age? 21. Great, we'll get started. Feel free to take off your shirt when you're ready. So now I'm going to move on to having a look at the elbows. So if you could do once again a bit of a twirl. Great, so having just a general look for now, um, I haven't noticed any redness, rashes, scars or swellings in the elbow areas of either arm. If you could just bring them up for me, I'm just going to have a look at the back of them. Yep, so I haven't noticed any gouty tofi, I haven't noticed any obvious swellings, um, which could be indicative of an olecranon bursitis. Um, you can straighten up your uh, arms again. So now I'm going to move on to having a feel of your elbow. So first of all, is either elbow sore currently? No. No, great. So I'll just start on your right. So just having a general feel over, I'm just going to quickly compare to the other side as well. The temperature seems to be the same on both, and it's not warm, so there's no obvious underlying inflammation. Having a quick squeeze over, no pain at all. No. So no obvious tenderness. I didn't notice any obvious swelling or effusion either, which is a good start. I'm going to feel over particular bony landmarks now. So just feeling over the olecranon at the back and then feeling for the medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle. Any pain at all? No. No, okay. I'll just do that on the other side as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to doing a few movements with you. So first of all, I'll just get you to copy me. Um, first, hands to your shoulders, bending your elbows, straighten them both out. Great. So flexion and extension, extension all good. Um, thumbs up robot for me. Thumbs outwards and thumbs inwards, so supination and pronation were both good as well. Since there were no abnormalities with active movements, there's no need to do passive movements, but for completeness sake, um, I'll go on to do some of your passive movements. So just relax me, firstly on this side, so flexion, extension, which is great, and then supination, pronation. And I'll do that on the other side as well. So now I'm going to do a few special tests. Um, so first, I'm going to test for medial epicondylitis. So if you could just extend uh, this arm out straight in front of you, bend your wrist towards you like this. Great. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure in the center here. I'm just going to push on your wrist, uh, push on your finger, sorry. Just resist me. Great. Any pain here at all? No. If I could just get you to flip over now for lateral epicondylitis. So applying a bit of pressure out here, pushing down once again on your hand. Any pain at all? No. Okay. So, no obvious medial or lateral epicondylitis. If I could just get you to bend your arm for me, and I'm just going to push down. Yeah, so there's good power and the biceps tendon is attached and normal. So, biceps tendon integrity is good as well. I'll just do that on the other side now. So that concludes all of the assessments that I wanted to do on your upper limbs. Thank you for being so cooperative. I'll be sure to pass on all of my findings onto the team. Did you have any questions at all? No. Great, thank you.